All right. You start off pretty well, Jason, uh, labeling the claims and the secondary points. I thought that you had a nice uh, piece of information on the price comparison. You need to explain what you mean by the performance comparison. I think I know, but I'm having to make an inference on that, uh, and it should be much clearer based on your presentation. You make a claim that the Macs don't need upgrades as often or even at all, and you need some data supporting that. So you had the financial comparison on that first point that I thought was pretty good. And then after that, I think your structure kind of falls apart a little bit. You just seem to randomly me making comments. Uh, for instance, you talk about bias. I'm not sure why it's biased because somebody has a point of view or an opinion, especially if that point of view or opinion is based on their expertise. If they're all companies that, for instance, that only sell um, uh, PCs, then I could see why there would be a, a position of bias. If these are people who have an economic interest in promoting uh, personal computers as opposed to Macs, then I, I can see some justification there. But otherwise, it's just a meaningless charge. Um, you lose your signposting during the speech, and at the end, I like the idea of your personal experience. I don't think you can use it as evidence. I think you need to generalize a little bit more and find some additional evidence. That might have been a good thing to maybe start off with to establish some uh, credibility as background information. And for instance, if you had somebody else's experience that was similar to that that you found in doing research, that would be easier to quote. You just sound kind of passive toward the end, like you were puttering toward the conclusion of the speech instead of finishing uh, confidently with a declarative point of view. All right, thank you.